do, 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 do. Ooh! Welcome to Slap Cops, the only slap cast where every week we slap the unslapped faces of the Oscars because, hey, somebody's got to do it. And then we let you slap and slap and slap their faces. Coming to you live from Neo Chicago, I am Officer Will Smith. And I am Officer Chris Rock. Whoa, epic, epic. We nailed it. Yeah, this is just like the event that is more than likely ancient fucking history by the time you hear this. I thought you were going to say this is like the Avengers and I was I was waiting for your hot take about how this is the like Captain America Civil War. But it actually is just that like way. that. It is just like that too, Grant. I mean, you can uh, draw Chris comparisons. Rock. Well, let's give a warm welcome to this week's guest, Jada Pinkett Smith. No, I'm just kidding around, everybody. I'm just kidding around. Uh, tonight's guest is Mark Roebuck. How are you, Mark? Hey, hello. Thank you for having me. It's the so obvious in my head. I was going to crack a joke about being the Denzel Washington if you need it, but I'll be Jada. Uh, that would have been that would have been better <laughs> than what we had, but it's, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, Footage will surface of me from an alternate angle, laughing at your guys' uh, jokes that I appear to be no selling you on. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I'll take any response I can get to that. I appreciate it. Uh, no, well, thank you for having me. It's, it's a yeah, absolutely, and Mark. Uh, glad to have you here. You are the uh, co-founder of the website Hard Drive, which uh, I started writing for myself last year. That's right, and that's been a lot Some of fun. Some pretty good stuff, I must say. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Oh, a fan, thank a you. fan of a lot of it. Uh, is your is that Castlevania one the most recent one that you? Yes. That one kind of just went up, right? Yeah, that was really funny. Yeah, love. Oh, thank you. Thank I you. love writing for Hard Drive because I guess if you think about a joke about whether it's about this or that, you know, anything could happen. But and I don't know how you feel about Castlevania, but when you land on something that you happen to also love, it's so fun. And then in turn, I just think those articles, like to me, like you know, it's just it's just extra funny when it's something like oh for sure, yeah, yeah, my heart, you know. Like, so that was one that definitely I love that one. <laughs> Like the the whole the whole pitch process is a lot of fun because like we're all in a Slack server together. We we throw pitches in there. We vote on stuff we mm -hmm. like. Anything that gets a certain amount of votes goes to a writers' meeting. And I feel like since I've started like writing for the website, I've personally been like on the lookout for like okay, I want to if I see in the morning, I see the the big video game news of the That's, day. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking of my take. I'm oh, thinking yeah. of it. And like like for example, the other day, um, I I saw that they delayed the new Zelda game. Yeah. And then I was like, all right, I got to think of something funny. Think of something funny. And like, I'm like, all right, I guess I'll, I didn't see anybody in the Slack server had one. So I just spat one out. And I was like, eh, I wasn't super confident in it. And then I think like an hour later, you had one. And I'm like, mm -hmm. that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Uh, yeah. Nintendo totally, Nintendo totally spaced on. Starting yeah, essentially, yeah, just admits, <laughs> admits they just kind of spaced on it. And I think, yeah, yeah. It was fun to speak to that thing of, um, you know, I think um, among other things with that game specifically, I think there was starting to be a vibe of like, that's not coming out this year, right? Like, were you guys the last ones to realize that? And they were like, you know yeah. what? I, I don't think we're going to get that done. <laughs> and then and there's a collective like, we're sad, but like, yeah, we know. <laughs> you know? We're like, well, they wouldn't have said 2022 if they didn't mean it. And it's like, yeah, yeah it's right. not going to happen. But you know what? Yeah. That's that's what we're, we're we, well, at Hard Drive, you know, we, we softened the blow. Mm -hmm. Right, we can. I mean, I've been wait, we've been waiting for what, like six, seven years for this game to come out. But I mean, I would yeah. rather, I would rather they take their sweet time, and then we can continue to make fun of it while they. Oh, of continue course. To and it's in, yeah. It, with that, with what you were talking about with video game discourse, it's it's interesting because, you know, uh, the, it, it it'll vary, but there's going to be politics, discourse every day, and 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 other things like mm -hmm. you know, if you love sports, there's going to be sports stories. There's not always a lot going on with video games. There's like really slow days, but sometimes you are trying to like maybe carve out a take or a joke or something. And I don't know, you know, like sometimes I find myself like if you, I think if I have to include the headline with the pitch, sometimes I dial it back and be like, you can't joke about it. If no one else knows about it, you shouldn't have to like, God. Yeah. <laughs> you know I, I mean? When there was a, that whole like M and M's thing, I was like, I was like, I, well, I guess I got, I, I was like pitching stuff about it and I was like super confident. And I like, I'm like, hey, Jeremy, do you guys want this? Uh, you know, is it is this? Do you guys like want an Eminem's headline? Mm -hmm. And he's like, let me ask the others. And he's like, you know what? I, I don't think we're going to run an Eminem story. It's not really, 
doesn't really make sense with um, I have I have a website. good one and and feel free to uh steal my work. Uh Senator <laughs> Lindsey Graham storms out of room after asking uh Supreme Court nominee uh Kintaji Brown Jackson whether or not she believes in the Mewtwo truck uh myth. Where you move the truck and you get um, it's it's you. a little wordy it's a little wordy no, I, but I, I think I'll, I'll that scale it down I, I think it's good if yeah, you can if you can scale it down by maybe eighty <laughs> percent I think that's that's so much in my process honestly just like write it down and just stare at it and kind of like that it's, word could go this could go this could yeah the idea you know yeah. No, there there's so many headlines where it's like I'm like if I get rid of like one word it'll be good and then otherwise I'm looking at it and I'm like this is crap until I get rid of one word and I cannot decide which one to get rid of. Yeah. And um yeah. But anyway, uh you like uh it's been a blast writing for the website and uh you were a, fo- a co-founder with it with uh Jeremy Kaplowitz who we've had on this show before. That's right. Um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh recently you became a full-time staff writer for the site because the rest of us we're, we're all lowly contributors but you finally and much deservedly rose to the ranks of a uh, a full-time staff writer for the website and in your own words finally doubling the staff of the that's website right, that's so now right. we doubled now instead of <laughs> <laughs> instead of one full-time staff writer we got two it is you know jokes aside if you're a fan of hard drive we doubled our staff i think it's i don't have a lot of tangible things to tell you what it means but it can't it, it it means more fun stuff, I think. You know what I mean? Like we're just yeah, for uh, sure. It's a good sign. You're ask- of things. Yeah, to come. thank you. And I I feel very like you're asking me about it even a, a bit a little bit before the show, and like it's been my first week. It's Thursday as we record this. It was four days into my my first week of doing it as like my only job, and again, we're t- it's like odd. I don't know how you guys are with like good good stuff, but you know you kind of wait for the other shoe to drop a little bit, and you're oh, just like, is this really? Yeah, this is really the thing. Yeah. This is really I'm doing this. Okay, fucking a man. Like I, it doesn't I, feel unearned. What? It's been five years and all that, but it's still like what the fuck, man. <laughs> a- after the last two years we've all had, I think that's a pretty normal <laughs> reaction to have to any good news. Be like, hey, yeah. all right, like, what's what's just going on? What's me. the right? Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can hit me with the bad news anytime. I'm ready for it. I am totally I know, yeah. ready. And, and 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 so, on one sense, their trajectory is there. It has went from side hustle to kind of you know making a little bit of money. To it, it was mm-hmm. like I was for the last like six months. It's kind of been like a part time. I've been making a a stipend as a staff writer. I essentially kind of was like, could we try me as a staff writer? And and they they uh, yeah, you know we yeah. worked a we worked a sort of deal out where then I I kept on a, a another job that I, I did a lot of hours on still and stuff like that. And that just kind of continues to evolve as the site grows and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it's been uh, obviously a bit a bit surreal to just get the go ahead on something that again, like it's five years of a kind of a daily content thing. It's uh, you know, like I said, it doesn't I mean, feel unearned, but it feels like I, uh, it feels fucking weird. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's got to sort of feel like things are like moving in a positive direction though. I mean, at least in comparison to like, I, I think all of us are waiting for the other shoe to drop with, like, the onion, whether or not that's going to be strung along or not. I think, like, the AV Club just called it quits. There's so many publications. Oh, really? That, like, yeah, uh, I think that's going to be a, that's soon. That's a there's, there's so many publications that were, like, huge and, like, formative and, like, yeah. that are recently just, like, falling off. And it's, like... I I can't think of any better publication than the hard drive when it comes to like filling that void, you know? Like I oh, feel yeah. like there's still like a ton that is still left to be done, you know? Thanks, man. I no, appreciate that. Uh firstly, and then yeah, we um you know, it sounds like with the onion, I think I mean, uh th- there's certainly people that uh, you know, uh, even our editors and stuff that are more well versed in, in in the happenings with all that, but like from what I gather, they just kind of have corporate overlords that obviously uh yeah. Th- things got started to get mucked up a little bit. If I can oversimplify, uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I used to I used to intern there like uh, trying to think, do oh, math, okay. like seven or eight years ago. I was an assistant to the team that like wrote yeah. the videos, okay. and cool. Oh, because yeah, you guys like, are in they Chicago, were like, and you guys are like comedy yeah. guys in Chicago. So, so as much as everyone with a sense of humor or like that right satire or anything like that is like we all kind of probably on, on some level grew up worshiping the Onion or, or at least being oh, formed for sure, by it. Like, yeah. the, the Chicago thing is like a whole other part of it, huh? Right. Yeah, yeah, and like mm-hmm. the for when I understand, like they, so they were in Wisconsin, then they went to New York, That's and right. then That's they right. um, they moved from New York to Chicago, and their reasoning was because they used a lot of LA actors, and it was too expensive to fly them 
to New York to shoot the videos. No. So they're meeting them in like, the middle? They, literally, that's what they told me. They were like, we're not going to go to L.A. Plan? So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bizarre. Oh, but, I mean, like, you know, I, I, they were looking to expand the team when I was interning there. And they are like, oh, yeah, if you're going to be around, you know, we're going to be in touch and all this and that. And, like, a month after my internship, internship ended, the, the people in charge who have now, like, sold off the company, basically, at that time, like, they cut the whole video department. So they're like, yeah, sorry, guys. Mm. Uh, no jobs anywhere. God. And like, what, like a, yeah, what and a there's... better thing for Chicago comedy to be associated with than The Onion as opposed to fucking Second City? Oh, the improv capital of America. It's just like, yeah, great, yeah. man, cool. Could we be associated with, like, something funny? No like, offense um... to the improvers out there. <laughs> well, Unrelated, we had, uh... well, maybe semi-related. I never realized that Ch- – I think I knew about Second City Improv before I realized Chicago was the second city, right? Or is that yeah. is that is that yeah. accurate? yeah. That fucking confused me when I when I figured out, kind of you know what I mean. Yeah, it sorry, I derailed, sort of like, derailed everything. We, I'm we sorry. got a lot of nicknames. <laughs> we got the city of broad shoulders, uh, the, the windy, windy city. city, a lot going on uh, yeah. with Chicago. Lot yeah, of, we're, lot we got a lot of happen. nicknames. You know, we we lo- yeah. we love our nicknames here. True. Uh, that being said, Mark, you are also. Um, a well, I guess as you would uh, you described yourself, a huge Earthbound fan, which um, most famously, <laughs> most famously, you're in, you're in that because uh, some some hard drive headlines go on and become absolute legends over time, and that's one that was uh, yes. was a huge Earthbound fan excited to play the game for the first time. Yes, yeah, and that and was then, uh, just just for all for all uh, for just uh, you know the sake or whatever. Uh, Seth Macy wrote that, who was used to write wrote a lot of our early uh, bangers, and has since he's like writes for like IGN and stuff like that. Now uh, oh, went cool. on to places with more than one employee, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, with you know with us being a little a small little operation, sometimes the fun is just being like, hey, I can post this picture, and you know what I mean. That's just obviously a a, a fun thing to do. And so that time, that joke, obviously, so it was, um, you know, a huge Earthbound fan, excited to play it for the first time, synced up with the release of the, uh, ultimately, SNES, what's that thing called? The mini classic thing. Yeah. 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 So that was, that was when I posed, and that one just really, really hit, and it really was mm-hmm. a great headline. That yeah, because really, uh, that image of you is the one that's always with that headline. <laughs> yeah, and I've seen it not a ton. It's obviously not like the su- most super prevalent meme, but I've seen it like change to other games and shit like that. And so that mm-hmm. it, that yeah. that's where you can tell something's got a weird bit of legs, maybe right when it starts to get adapted that's, and yeah. re- redone and stuff like that. Yeah, that's been that's, that's been something. That's something. And I saw that. <laughs> Did, didn't you retake the picture recently when they released Earthbound Beginnings on Switch? That's right, yeah. And that was just more, there was no, like, article or it wasn't a conventional thing of, like, hard drive, but just more like, yeah, that day that they, like, the Nintendo Direct, they announced that they were going to put the the NES, whatever it is, Mother Earthbound Zero mm-hmm. thing on there. Yeah, I, I just kind of took a picture of me. Part of the joke being, like, I've got, like, longer hair now, and there's quite a noticeable difference I thought made it funny. And again, like you mentioned, these years we've had, I even had some facial hair at the time and stuff. So, you know, I don't know if it necessarily was a COVID joke or not, but just the way that maybe maybe we all, uh, you know, it's like completely... An uh, Easter egg for the fans. It's like an Easter egg and you're just like, oh, it's 100% five years later. Look at this guy. I just think it's funny to be able to do that humor. Like, it's, yeah. not, it's not an opportunity that presents itself very often. So, like, as soon true. as I heard yeah, this, true. oh... I should do like you could stage it even in a similar way, and like I had my wife take the picture again and everything else, and it is just it's, of course with that you're like my God, we've been doing this for five years, so just it's fun to have a a, a weird little bookmark and things like that, you know. If 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 the what's the other one on like N64, there's a possibility that you know in in five years I'll have lost an arm or something, and and I'll get to <laughs> take a picture of me playing it on like a, on the, a you know, the, the mother the three Nintendo beta system for N64. or something yeah 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 so they will be a real fun little three thing yeah <laughs> yeah i i was uh when i was at the onion i was in a couple of videos very briefly and even still to this okay. day like people will message me like hey i was like watching onion videos and you popped up in one of them like even like literally two days <laughs> oh. ago somebody was like hey i saw you on the subway onion video like eating a sandwich <laughs> and i'm like that is like one of my biggest That's claims fun. to fame and it's like i have no lines i'm just eating a sandwich <laughs> and i'll take it you got a, you got a prop to work with that's pretty good someone yeah it's no, it's noticeable that's funny it was yeah. always like a sub, subway like the the chain it was a it was a commercial yeah or the, the actual headline let me find it here because somebody sent it to me um 
It was something about uh, it was like Subway. I forget the exact thing. It was something about like Subway shock to learn uh, customers eating entire footlongs in one sitting or something like that. <laughs> Where the That's whole right. thing is like, like these are meant to be enjoyed over a course of uh, uh, several days. <laughs> you know, <or> something <laughs> like that. But I a lot of it's that. so funny because really like funny. The, the, the the straight like deadpan delivery these actors would have in these videos was like oh like, right. so oh that's funny because that's what's so fun about uh, one of the things that's so fun about writing in like that AP voice is exactly yeah just, yeah I, I yeah I've always just thought that was so funny and there's there's yeah there's nothing funnier to me almost than like there's like an aloofness in it when whether it's a character that doesn't realize how dumb they are or you're just re- reporting something dumb with a straight face or something you know what I mean. Uh-huh. That's that's like as funny as it gets to me. So yeah, like like that. I like, agree. I or, agree. Something like that. People being bewildered that people are eating these subs is that's so <laughs> funny. Yeah, man, it's a classic. Wonderful. I'm gonna look um, that up after this. That's fun. Yeah, yeah, you'll. It's my yeah claim to fame. And I, I should. Awesome. Hey guys, look, I'm the guy from the subway video. Five year, seven years later, I was like, what? The, what is this? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, not not Good quite reference. the same uh, pedigree. Mm-hmm. Uh, but speaking of pedigree, Grant, guess what we what? did this week? Yeah. We hit. I'm not going to give you a chance to answer. Apparently, oh, uh, oh, we yeah, hit 600. <laughs> 600. You gave him a pedigree clue. You even gave him a clue. <laughs> <laughs> the, we hit the we hit the big 600, Grant, on YouTube. Can you believe it? Oh, yes. Because I've watched the excellent. number slowly climb from 540 to 600 now. Hey. I just, you know what we should have done, Grant, is like we should have been like, a, like one of those, it. like, not mentioned it. Yes, also not mentioned a very pathetic milestone to hit. But imagine if, like, even hey, more it's pathetic. Working. It's growing. We have like a telethon to reach 600 subscribers, and you and I just watch like the number ticking, like 598, 599, 600, and confetti <laughs> starts falling everywhere. And it's like, all right, just another, let's, Actually, let's times that a- by 10,000. A telethon is not a bad idea for like, maybe we should do that from 600 to 700. Just go live on Twitch for like 48 <laughs> hours and just see I, if we can I, get I'm people not opposed. To... If I may, what if you did yeah. a telethon? Because I associate that, not exclusively, but it's kind of a religious thing. You could do a telethon to get to 666. Ooh, there we go. And then we'll keep it going. Just Let's. Take. Well, like what's, oh, yeah, what's I mean, if you're going to keep rolling to seven, that, that'd just be a fun benchmark maybe along the way. You could release some. some some red balloons or something. Yeah, like uh, or like oh, I I got a I actually got a bottle of fake blood in this room. Like a, and sixty nine. Mm. That's another one. It's also a much higher. It's a much higher number, and it's funnier. Well, we can so we, we can. can get uh, it. All right. Well, that's one funny number down. Let's get to the next funny one. Mm-hmm. With your help, viewers at home. We uh, that hire being said, Elon we... Musk as a consultant for the funny numbers because he's got all sorts of. Uh, he did uh, four twenty sixty nine for Dogecoin to the moon. Do you remember that? That was hilarious. Very funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was good. Very very funny to somebody who's maybe like in sixth grade or seventh grade. Yeah. yeah. Or, or the or the richest man on the planet. Or yeah. <laughs> Either way. Uh, we did also record a bonus episode of our spinoff show, Fire Bros, this weekend, which was a lot of fun. Uh, we reviewed The Batman. We reviewed Joe Para Talks With You Season 1. We reviewed Titan. And we reviewed Hot Rod. Yeah, An eclectic uh, bunch of media, to be sure. Yeah. Check it out. You can listen to me screaming at one of my good friends over <laughs> opinions about movies. It was hilarious. I mean, it so I've, was seen, all, it was I've all, seen Hot Rod. Oh, sorry. No, it was all good fun. But uh, you've seen Hot Rod? I was gonna say, I've seen Hot Rod, but what, what, real quick, what did you guys make of those other things? Because they're all things I've not seen and wonder about. <laughs> uh, Batman was great. Uh, Joe Para right. is amazing. Don't watch okay. Titan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I don't Kevin, agree. I'm I guessing don't... there's a... yeah. <laughs> I don't fully agree with all that, but if you want to find out my true opinions, you'll, uh, it's for just two dollars a month. You all can right. find out, and you can also find out what our friend Josh thinks. Very cool. <laughs> and uh, the as, as of usual, what I think. <laughs> we also record these episodes on video. So if you're listening to the audio version, there is a video version, hopefully on YouTube. Uh, we have been dealing with a lot of technical problems, so thank you to those who have stuck with us. Yeah. But if you are curious to see, hey, did it work? Did the boys pull it off this week? You can find out if you go to youtube.com slash thoughtcops. 
And if you are listening on one of those apps that doesn't have a video, such as Spotify or iTunes, uh, leave us a five-star review because I'm assuming it helps the algorithm. I think we can eventually do Spotify video. I don't know how that works, but I think we can put the videos on Spotify. Hmm? Oh. I don't know how. I have no idea. Well, how. regardless, if I you are listening on Spotify, no, don't actually don't seek that out from us. <laughs> yeah, that we we're not gonna bite off even more than we can chew at this point. Yeah, but uh, I'm assuming like you know, leave us a review. Uh, if you leave us a five star review on iTunes, we'll read it on the show. Uh, hey, there's some fun idea for you, you know. Oh, hey, that's mine. Mm-hmm. You know, you could tell everybody, hey, they read my review on Thought Cops. And you're like, what the fuck is that? Um, but yeah, also we have a Discord community, a thriving fan community. If you want to check out the episode description, we have a link to the server uh, in there. So scroll on down. But let's not uh, waste any more time. Let's get on to a very famous, a very favorite segment of the show called Two Minutes of Hate. Or we like to blanket punish all that annoying random crap that we see on our phone screens and our computer screens every single day of the week. And my two minutes of hate this week goes to cringy internet speak as marketing. Now this Epic is typically... Win. Yeah, basically <laughs> stuff like that. So <laughs> so the other day, I went, I went to Target the other day. I, I wanted to buy a hand vac, like a little hand vacuum, like wipe up the... You know, get in the, cush- the couch cushions, with. you know, where you can't normally reach, get a hand vacuum. And I went to yeah, Target... And put my penis... Well, when I got... You know, obviously, there's a big mess to clean up. So I had to get a hand vac to clean up all my uh, my gunk from the couch cushions. And uh, there, was a, there was a vacuum there, and I picked it up, and I was like, okay, Dirt Devil, respectable brand. I know that one. And I'm looking at it, and I'm, I'm the, the side says, like, Adulting 101. Oh, Jesus. And it's like... Like, I started thinking, like, who is that for, you know? And it's like, I'm thinking it's probably, like... That copy is meant for people who are probably like, you know, young college students who are quote unquote off on their own for the first time or like a parent who thinks that this, oh, this is like, this is a, a one of those, oh, this is a, a nice hip vacuum. My, my, my son who hates me will appreciate if I give to him. He'll, th- he'll, th- he'll think I'm so hip and funny if I give this to him. This and is the I'm home like, run gift that could change this whole relationship. Exactly. And I, I just saw that and I, I put it back on the shelf and there was like another one that was ten dollars more. Mostly the same thing, and I bought that instead. Because yeah. I I couldn't I couldn't forgive myself if I walked out of that target with the with the box that says well, in huge red letters. It says in huge red letters on the side, <sighs> adulting one oh one. Yeah. You paid Am I $10? that petty? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I am that. Yeah, I'm willing to pay the ten dollars. I think there. You know what? There, there might have been like an extra nozzle or two that could attach to the vacuum that the other one didn't have. Sure. And also, sure. it wasn't in like most importantly, it wasn't cringy. Yeah. So at least there's <laughs> yeah. that. But I, I, I was thinking about that. it. You should have said, "Hey, this your item is posting cringe." Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I should have, and I'm like, I'm like, I, I should have used that as like a bartering tool. Like, I will, I will give you thirty dollars for this instead of forty, since the packaging is so cringe. And they're like, please leave. They might have done it. It's like price matching, but uh, internet version. I'm I mean, not exactly it's a sure. I'm not sure what it looks like, but you should have ratioed it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that. I don't know what the execution. I was looks like, like, I was that, imagining but. like. <laughs> um, just like holding holding it up in the store, like, hey guys, get a load of this fucking thing. And right, like, right. And everyone's like, yeah, dude, you're right. Like, Fuck that thing. <laughs> they're gives you a ratio plus L yeah. plus this sucks. Wink, wink. Yeah. And right. um, anyway, that yeah, if five I wrote people the copy, fist pounded me. Yeah. Yeah. If I wrote the copy, I would definitely um have something like that on there. But I feel like all this kind of like cringy internet marketing is always like it's always like slightly behind the times, like. You know, I wouldn't have. I would have been surprised yeah. if it said like this. This vacuum is on fleek or something like that. You know, right? <laughs> Where by the time it gets to those meetings and things get you know like produced and rolled out and and they're on the yeah. shelves and everything else, like you're right. It's all, yeah. <laughs> slow I, you know, I, I know. It, I know it's department. hard to keep up with this kind of crap. You know, I get. I, I'm not. I'm not totally faulting them, but I would say maybe the mm-hmm. the the alternative to coming across extremely embarrassing is just like don't rely on trendy internet lingo to like to sell your stuff because yeah. it's just going to backfire. 
I remember right. like one one of the more famous ones was from actually a long time ago, probably like twenty years ago. It was like I think it was when McDonald's first introduced the McGriddle or something, mm-hmm. and they were advertising it on IGN. <laughs> and if you remember, like there was like a phrase people used to use on the internet back then, call it "I'd hit it." Like I'd hit uh, that, and it was like you know when you want to like obviously like you want to have sex with somebody, or I guess in this yeah. case something. Because they had this big McDonald's so. banner on the <laughs> on the top of IGN.com, and it was like this like uh, animated gif, and it was a guy with a with a McGriddle. It was like oh, he bites into it, and it's a picture for him, like, and this big like yellow text on a red background just said, "I'd hit that." Mm. Hell yeah! Damn. So in that case, it's always funny when it backfires, but at the same time, I just I just can't stand seeing it. Uh, and speaking late, of seeing it, I wouldn't times I, with the McDonald's. Can you imagine like? Um, I'm trying to think of like a like a, like a Swiffer mop that says like, "You love to see it." Dot dot dot. A clean floor. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. That's yeah. Net, give it give it a year. Give it a year. Um, <laughs> so I would say my punishment though, um, like I would say, let us write the copy. Whatever you know, we just say like we ratio this. Like we say like we just make fun of it because people love post irony. They're like. Yeah, look at this fucking piece of shit. You know, this thing sucks. You know, obviously, if it's not a vacuum, you can, like, be not ironically saying it, but just talking about how bad it is, like, this sort of, um, I don't know you call it, like, a vague self-awareness or something, and, like, just selling people off that way, or even just, yeah. like I said, just not doing it, just being, you know what's, you know what's scarier than being ironic? Being sincere. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. 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 Because it, it takes like you got to be vulnerable, you got to be sincere, you know. Like you, you, imagine... you got me thinking about. I... Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, go I'm ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. No, it's okay. Oh, I was gonna say you just kind of uh, shoehorn this in a little bit, but you remind me it's not quite all the way internet speak, but it's more that mentality where every every brand or every like certainly in the realm of like fast food, they they had to get snarky one day, and like if I could talk like it all be like I remember like when I was a kid. I don't know, like, one day they were just like, hey, man, we should put fucking jokes on the bag and the sauces and just, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, all yeah, the, yeah. the whole experience of getting a burger and fries needs to be more of a bombardment of, like, personality, and it shouldn't just be a sack of food anymore. And maybe as, like, a guy who loves comedy and has a weird alternative kind of comedy job that didn't used to fucking exist a couple weeks ago, I should be like, that's pretty cool, right? Someone got a job writing jokes about fucking Arby sandwiches and whatever, you know, but... Uh-huh. It's kind of maddening a, a little bit sometimes if I let myself like get mad, you know. Where I'm like, "Oh fuck you!" Why is yeah, my yeah. cup funny? I just want the sprite, you know. Like, no, I I, I agree. It's like it's it's weird, and like I I don't know if it's better or worse than the In and Out Bible verses that they have in the bottom yeah, of the bag. I bags. was thinking about that. I was thinking yeah. about that, and like Forever Twenty One wow. used to do that too, where it was like really? John whatever fourteen sixteen or whatever the fuck at the bottom, and it's like, what the fuck is this? And it's like, oh, because uh, the creator of this clothing brand is very uh, religious yeah. and it's like right. you're selling like uh, fucking t-shirts with holes in them to 14 year olds like right. what are you yeah. do you think you talking about if, if I'm, bu- if any, I'm buying ever french been saved? fries <laughs> maybe what was that I'm sorry do you think anyone's ever been saved by their forever 21 back <laughs> Maybe. Like they look up the scripture and they're like, you know what? This is this clicks. This is good. And they kept reading. <laughs> Some really good points. And then oh, like, they checked like out a mass. And then there they're in. And then sounds like so a what got you into this? Christian. Yeah, a born yeah. again Christian because of a of a, of a receipt that had a yeah. Bible verse on it. Exactly. Like, yeah, this, yeah, this this is this is the day that everything <laughs> changed. Forty nine dollars <laughs> at Forever Twenty One. Yeah, I bought my sh- my yeah, like you said, my shirt with the holes in it and everything. And right, and it's yeah. like if you're ordering animal style fries, you're not concerned about going to heaven. You know, it's over. <laughs> or you're trying to get there faster. Yeah, but then again, that's like you know, su- if you if you you know commit suicide, you would go to hell. And I would say if you're trying to eat so much in and out that you just like die of whatever too much animal style fries, then yeah, yeah I think that's yeah. I think that's considered a very long con form of suicide. It's suicide unless you're making a, a ripping documentary about the experience, is my understanding. If you're doing some super size me experiment, I think it's allowed if, like, it's for the, if it's for the content. There's that weird looking dude that like has eaten a Big Mac from McDonald's like three meals a day every day for like the past 40 <laughs> years and he's like still wait, he looks, somehow wait, alive. 
Wait, Grant, you said a guy ate a he ate a Big Mac three times a day every day, yeah, and he, he looks just weird? like the only thing that he eats. Like he doesn't even look like bad. He just looks like a weird. He looks like if you were to look at him, you'd <laughs> look at him and be like, "This is like a weird guy." It, what is this like Joey's World Tour or something? I don't know. Like, look, look him up. I don't know how to describe. It. I can't you, screen share. Yeah, I'm, here I'm to looking. Show you I, what Grant, I'm looking at him up like. right now. It looks like, like this is. A, is it Popeye's friend Wimpy? I don't. I don't get <laughs> what joke you're making because I'm not really a, <laughs> a, keen to the reference. Mark, you know Wimpy, a, right? That's yeah. That's that's an old. That's a, a Popeye. Uh, that's a, that's a great Popeye pull there, my friend. <laughs> when, uh, and the world the world could use more grant Wimp, wimpy was popeye's friend who um i guess the joke was that he would like pay him back later for a hamburger today it's kind of it huh something yeah. like that yeah anyway Gr- uh, somebody else speak uh mark what's your two minutes of eight um I, I i i don't know if we have more of the slap to get to because i know we addressed how there was a lot of slap stuff in the air oh, mine yeah, we'll get to yeah, it was we'll a little bit thing, mine's a little yeah. bit about the inevitable what we've talked about too uh, i think a bit like you know and and the things aren't like as soon as that happen you just can you know you don't have to be a genius to see the crystal ball just like oh this will become a very quick cycle of backlash and it, you know i'm mm-hmm. sick of this get over it and, and, and just and it all just becomes kind of annoying and i'm sorry if anyone likes the memes great uh, uh what my beef is is that one and it got so much i saw one with like f- uh, like and i don't like do a lot of keeping track of posts in my brain but the fact that it had four hundred thousand likes was like very you know like holy crap you know you don't see that that often but it was the collage yeah. of everyone's reaction to the slap and it was the fucking thing it was truly a collage oh, yeah. of everyone reacting to the best picture snafu from a few years back when they read the wrong one and I just like remember seeing it from a few years. I'm really surprised that so many people. And now I've seen it passed around. Like I've seen just the isolated like Meryl Streep one, and be like, yeah, look at Meryl Streep when the slap happened and stuff. And just like, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I didn't expect much, but it's a little disappointing. <laughs> you know I what have, I mean? I have, I think, what is like a good uh, punishment. You can go on, but just while while you're saying this and while this is in my head, I feel like a good mm, counter go for it, go to that it. is that the. Uh, all the all the women from the cartoon The Simpsons, who are all dressed as ninjas, are all reacting to the slap. I think that that's. You know what, Grant? I'm going to see if, if you're that not exists paying right attention now. at home to previous episodes. You didn't get that, but there's like five people that like are. They did oh, five of these. people at they, home are going to lose their fucking minds. Yeah, they're going to be like that joke is for me. But yeah, you can um, you can go on about the Hughes. I'm trying to remember his whole. Well, handle, it was funny because um, go ahead. You Mark, gave him the key to the oh, city. As, as the thing kind of happened, I saw I didn't I wasn't watching the thing live, uh, uh, but I think I caught wind of it kind of happening because it obviously kind of like you know was like I was like I checked Twitter around that time or whatever. And because my wife and I were just kind of talking about it, that just made us talk about like, oh, that, that's a fucked up thing at the Oscars. Hey, remember that fucking disaster of the La La Land thing? How hilarious was that? Yeah, it's like yeah. we looked at that meme. We found that meme that night to look at all these funny faces. It's so funny. In the right context, it's the funniest shit. I just resent this. Like, now it makes me angry when I see it a little bit. Yeah. And as far as the punishment for anyone that shared, I think, honestly, you should just scroll down. Next time you see a thing, scroll down a little bit. See if anyone points out that it's the fucking fake or whatever. You should do that whether it's a joke or a thing. But uh, my joke idea for punishment was they should have to watch back that slapless Academy Awards with La La Land with fucking nothing in it. That should be your punishment. And that's, you know, that's going to be like a huge problem for the Academy Awards. Like next year, like how they're they're going to try to top this and they're not oh, going to be able to because if they try to top it, yep. it's just not going to be the same. And um, I mean, because it's been it's been like a something like a century or close to it of them handing each other awards again. great job man the next year the other guy gives the other guy hey, no fucking you great job man we're all doing great job you know like it's been that's been the thing for a long time and i love movies and i'd get caught up in it too and everything else right but uh now that thing's most like important famous known moment is like a guy slapping a guy because he didn't like a joke he told that's really funny when you think about it i know for, for a second when you said can... it's been I, I was just going to add say, to that. Go ahead, I was going to go say ahead. just uh, I think I know how they can outdo themselves. And this just came <laughs> to me. But uh, everybody in the room walks up on stage and slaps James Corden. I think that, that would be that would I think that one ups him. 
Mm-hmm. I don't. I would. I think I would have died from laughter if that happened. <laughs> so if they if they can do that next year, I turn. <laughs> I will buy a cable package just to watch it that night live. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, just to, uh, Grant to um, to answer yeah. your question, uh, I'm not seeing that Ben Hughes surprisingly did a, did a post about the slap with the Simpsons females looking at Will Smith and disappointment or something like that. Maybe maybe you should. Uh... You should create that and then tag him in it and send it to him. That'd be that good. would be a good idea. Yeah, I, I or think he'll that, sue you, you know, for copyright. That would be bad. I, I would not like that. I, if I I don't want Ben Hughes, even though he doesn't own the Simpsons, but or worse than getting sued by Ben Hughes, I don't want him to do his own where like all the Simpsons females are, are looking at me in disappointment. <laughs> Can you imagine that post amazing. going viral? Like that would be so humiliating. Uh, anyway, let's move on from this because uh, I'm sure people who don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Yeah, let's skip are, over are me. Being annoyed, uh, Grant. What is your two minutes of hate? <laughs> um, my two minutes of hate this week, uh, aside from technical difficulties, um, and they stink. Of which, of which those are ever present, um, and we're <laughs> we're working through them, and they're they're getting better as they get worse, and they're getting worse as they get better. But yep. um. One of uh, one that's going to be a little, <laughs> I guess, even. a little more There's, yeah, lighthearted shit. is uh, here's here's a good one. Did we did we do this? It's on the list, but I don't know if we did this. Uh, Try me. We'll when, see. When someone makes sort of a shitty joke or like releases a dumb video. And it's like it's sort of like edgy in nature, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. Maybe it's like someone's like dressing up like a woman uh, to make fun of trans people, like one of those types. You did of bring videos. that up last week, yeah. This this different than this is a little different than that, but like someone releases a video like that, and then uh, the comments under and it's like it's not funny. Like even like the the topic and the subject matter in and of itself is like it's not good but like the presentation itself is bad uh and then the comments underneath there's one particular phrase where people say people are afraid to laugh oh yeah 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 (laughs) not me i'm not afraid to laugh people are afraid to laugh Mm -hmm. people are afraid to laugh nowadays not not me Mm -hmm. i'll I'll laugh gladly i'll laugh proudly this is this is hilarious. Afraid of public speaking, roller coasters, and laughing. People oh, are afraid spiders. to laugh. People, uh... which even I guess it even applies like laugh reacting to a post. Apparently, which is seemingly right. The issue here, not enough, not enough action on the post. Oh, Everyone's too scared. It's to... everything. It's you know because the thing is the the people they see this video they see these videos of these men that are uh, that are dressing up like women to make fun of trans people and they they themselves think that it's the funniest thing you know like these steven crowder types who can't stop doing it for some reason and they they mm-hmm. see these videos and they're dying on the inside because this is the funniest thing that they've ever seen they're they're holding mm-hmm. back with all their strength because they're they're terrified someone told a joke with the word identify in it and now they're just incapable of doing anything but laughing for the next 3 minutes <laughs> yeah but they're afraid to they're afraid that's to right, laugh. That's right. unlike, unlike me, I, well, I laugh proudly. I, w- when I'm staring at my phone in complete silence in my bed, when, I, when right. I'm sitting on that's the right. toilet and I'm, uh, and I'm like scrolling through Twitter, I laugh mm-hmm. loudly to myself mm-hmm. in my room. But other people, mm-hmm. other people know that if, you, that if you're laughing at things quietly to yourself... But, you know... Well, other, other Grant, that, if I, if I may be frank for a moment... Yeah. Yeah. If I may be, may be frank for a moment, I, I think that you're being a little bit close minded here because some people may have, um, you know, out like conditions like asthma or maybe like a weak lung of some sort. So for them, like a post that could send them into uh, a comical state of laughter could easily kill them. I mean, so it, right, put yourself right. in their shoes for a moment, for a moment, Grant. You mm-hmm. see something hilarious and then you, you have this condition, you see this post. Yeah. I, I think I'd be afraid to laugh too. <laughs> I guess that's fair. I hadn't considered that as a possibility. Yeah, I know you didn't. I'm a fan of anything that 
Like you can kind of make yourself sound brave for just laughing at a fucking joke, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what it is too. It's like people are afraid to laugh, but not me. Not me. Not, not me. me. I'm laughing, me. baby. I, I, I'm yeah. assuming I'm laughing. You know? I'll lead the charge. They I'd don't like ever say imagine. lol or anything though, so we don't actually right. know if they're I'd... laughing. They just say people are afraid to laugh. Right. I don't know right. if they are. I'm assuming right. that's the intent. If I mm-hmm. worked at the NSA. I would be hacking that person's phone, uh, turning on their camera on their phone so that I can see their face as they're posting that, you know, (laughs) so you can see their reaction as they're going, ha ha ha, that's the funniest (laughs) thing. Isn't that? Yeah, right. I've ever seen people nowadays are just afraid to laugh. You know what, Grant? That'd also also be a good power to have. For like someone like when like somebody replies to a funny post with like I'm screaming, and you like doo, 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 tap another phone and like I don't see you screaming, <laughs> <laughs> laughing my ass off. You're not even laughing out loud. How can you say you're laughing your was, ass off? What if you could do like a screenshot like what they have at red lights, and so it's like here's what you looked like the oh, second yeah. you posted that. <laughs> <laughs> I I love that. I love that. And it's like we yeah. a black and white photo. All these lifeless faces the like mail. you were saying. <laughs> Yeah, it's like yeah. they're like a, they get a letter from like the government. Like, what the hell is this? And they open it. It's a picture of them, like, are like not like. Yeah, right. And it's like this post was Same. taken at approximately twelve o two p.m. on February 9th. Uh, you you reply you reply to the post that you were not afraid to laugh. Uh, you followed up with lol, and also LMAO, and we see a photo of you right here, not laughing, not even smiling. <laughs> just such a fucking stupid people are people are afraid to la- it's just like or things are just shitty and you don't laugh at like shitty that like i don't know how to better describe that it's just like there's yeah a bunch of dumb things and just because you're being like an edgy fucking idiot doesn't mean that it's like funny and i like edgy humor we all do uh I can't think of an example, but I'm sure that there is one. And it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, man, like j- just because you're not being funny doesn't mean you're like this brave, like bastion of like free thought that couldn't think nobody else could think of you put on a dress and like nobody else could think of that. And you're a comedic genius. And, mm-hmm. like, as a result, like, everyone's just terrified. They're mortified. But, you know, it's just like, I, yeah, you know, or, Grant, I, th- or I think for really the punishment, dumb. I think the punishment yeah. that we should we, we should go with Mark's suggestion of the, the like the red light camera, but for laughter, you know, like we got the, yeah, we kind yeah, of no, want to catch these guys red handed. Yeah. <laughs> it's going on your phones. And, and then you, you get that them. you get like, you get that picture in the yeah. mail and you also get a $60 ticket. A citation. You get a That's sixty dollar right. ticket, mm-hmm. and you harass them because it's like, what are you afraid to laugh? You weren't. Right. You weren't laughing. I think you're right. afraid exactly. to laugh. I'm gonna fight it. I laugh with some people. Laugh through a not smile. You know, some people kind of go. <laughs> it's like, you know, they they push through it. Less of a smile. You, you can maybe fight that. And then that's that will you know of course be proven in the court of law, but that's you know that's out of our jurisdiction. Mm-hmm. Uh, but speaking mm-hmm. of our jurisdiction, let's move on. If you haven't listened to Thought Cops before, every week we investigate the internet's outrage-inducing news stories, and then we sentence each perpetrator to a cruel and often quite unusual punishment. So let's get to the story that everybody's talking about, and by that I mean everybody stop talking about the slap. Uh, for those who have been living underneath of a damn rock, uh, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. Chris Rock. At I, the thought, Oscars. Well, I was wondering something. I wondered there was a pun potential there. But it wouldn't no, really completely make sense. Uninten- yeah, completely no, yeah, unintentional. Yeah. And I just kind of, you know, I, I pretended like it was. It's tough. Uh, but Will Smith yeah. slapped. He slapped the living crap out of out of Chris Rock. He slapped him in the next Tuesday, Grant. I can't believe it. So I we do seen actually it 100,000 times. Well, we do have uh, uh, the uncensored footage because if you were watching live, they did pull the audio off of uh, Will Smith yelling. So we do actually have a clip right, here right. of the slap, fully uncensored. So let's have a look here. Today we are here to celebrate and give out an award for the one who can triple the loss to Sonic Underground's success. <laughs> Which will no one be Sonic because he's so. Goddamn fat! 
He can't win! <laughs> <laughs> This, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh. Richard. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. Part of just smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm sorry, who? Bitches. Name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a jump. Keep my bitches. Name. <laughs> I'm going to, okay? So <laughs> I could, oh, okay. <laughs> that was a greatest night in the history of television. I'll say. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I I didn't know Sonic was up for that award. I I mean, I didn't either. It, it, I mean, I, I will say the joke was inappropriate, though. I, I think it was like, why comment on his weight? You right. know, at the Academy Awards in front of the whole world? Like, that's an appropriate... He's been open thing. about that, right? I thought. <laughs> his, I mean, kind of. I mean, like, obviously, like, we can all plainly see his, like, his, his ass is sort of like... It's, it's less of an ass and more of, like, a protrusion on the side of his body in that picture. <laughs> anyway, that was, that was the... That was the uh, Tamer's... One two three four five animated parody of the slap, which went up mere hours after after the event was How televised. How did he do that that fast? That's I don't incredible. Know. I have no idea. And I also want to give a shout out to him because you know usually he uses these Microsoft Sam voices. Right. He must have like gotten a Chris Rock voice pack <laughs> and used it because like that was like. I mean, obviously, it sounded a little bit weird, but usually they're very computery sounding, and if, that one was like his voice. At first, I was like, "Is someone like mocking Chris Rock's voice?" Because like, yikes! But then it just ended up being like Microsoft Chris. I mean, which is you know, sh shout out to Tamers. He's he's clearly um, continuing to master the craft of animation. Honestly, uh, but more, anyway, more than anybody. Yeah, I mean Walt Disney, Tex Avery, Tamers one two three four five. Yeah, one of the greats. Anywho, um, so this was the event that broke. And I'm not even being hyperbolic here. Broke Twitter on Sunday. Uh, if you guys were online during this broke event happening, rain. Twitter broke. Like so many people were posting. I'm I'm assuming it was not a coincidence. So many people were posting about this happening at the Oscars on Twitter that it stopped loading like none of, like nobody's mm -hmm. avatars were loading the, the page wasn't refreshing i can't remember the last time i've seen that happen I don't yeah, know. 9 11 maybe just kidding didn't, me. <laughs> didn't exist i don't think it was the same on a traffic level i did see the comparisons made to like you see people say it on other events too but like people are like this this like twitter hasn't been this like exciting or whatever since like trump got covid was felt like mm a yeah, big yeah. other one or something but i don't know if it was like causing issues in the way that this might have but that almost felt like maybe the last thing that truly truly like everyone in the world was like making jokes about at the same time that i can recall yeah i i think so i mean actually even then like that was like you know people were not like you know people who were like you know on his side we're not joking about it where this was like everybody had their joke ready about this yeah and it was one yeah. of those things where it was like I don't want to do one, but I guess I should do one because it seems yeah. like that's just what you're supposed then, to do. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, well, you know what? I have a comedic mind. I'll make a joke about how everyone's making a joke. And then my joke isn't as bad as the other joke. Or, you know, you get cute. Exactly. Yeah, as yeah, as, as if it's <laughs> <It's>, I, <will, laughs> right. I, I, I will say, like, the creative aspect of, like, hey, this was, like, sort of a funny moment between, like, millionaires where it's like, man, uh, in the grand scope of things, this doesn't really matter. There's, like, innocent people in Ukraine getting killed, whatever. There's scope, there's whatever. We can make fun of this mm -hmm. moment, right? Like, there's things that go into the pot that sort of, like, eh, people deal with things, whatever. And you look at that and you think, okay, well, you take that into mind. But then you make a stupid meme where you draw it like a JoJo character or whatever. And you're like, this is funny. This isn't hurting anybody. What pissed me way more off than, like, the jokes, and the jokes, you know, wear on everybody as, you know, as time goes on, but, like, the serious, like, psychoanalytic takes of, like, 
listen, if you're not yes. siding with Will Smith, it's just like, dude, I don't care about this stuff. Yeah. I never right. will care. Well, like, It's like you said, it's millionaires in a room, whether you follow it or care or not, whatever. But like, this happened one day. I, I shouldn't be obligated to have a take, right? I think... That you have to that, have the correct take. I know, I you know. know. We're just like, I don't know, man. I it, never, it's, I've yeah, never it's been so through a celebrity useless. slapping. I've got. I still need to take some time to make make sense of it all. I don't have my take. I mean, me hell, either. I can't decide if the dress was blue or gold. Still. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! And you've got to come out with an official statement on Yanny, that one, Kevin. I can't tell you. Kevin, the window's I, closing. Yeah, I mean, you've got to put a, You've got to put a statement out on that. Okay. Oh fuck! 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 <laughs> uh, blue. Wait, no, gold. Gold. No, wait, blue. Blue. Um. Anywho, that like this is, you know, be, being as big of a story as it has been, it has produced uh, some of the most inspired takes from some of the biggest geniuses on oh this planet. God. Some really incredible stuff here. I'm going to read a couple of my favorites that I've seen here. Um, let me put, as if it would load here. Uh, let me see. This is one. Um, the slap is much less. <laughs> The slap is much less entertain or interesting when you realize Will Smith almost certainly went through the Scientology courses that teach you to unapologetically use slaps and physical force to let a fellow Scientologist know they've done something wrong. I read that. Is that legit? We think that's legit? That's great. Oh, my God. I mean, let me see who this guy is. I want to say that, like humiliation it, it sounds, is an aspect of it doesn't it sound it, yeah definitely seen, it sounds plausible I, I at know, worst like i don't know his his bio says Chris democratic Rock. strategist and founder so i mean i think that's like he's, have you he's that's seriously like i think if you've seen that video if the cameras weren't rolling i think tom cruise would have slapped was it like matt lauer when they're talking about psychology and shit like that like he's yeah i could see I them mean, really something like that you know emphasizing I mean, slapping hell, it, will will smith has slapped people before also like on the red carpet once some dude like yeah. tried to like open mouth kiss him or something which was like sort mm -hmm. of like warranted he did this like weird backhand thing which was kind of strange but yeah i don't know uh here's another good one here um the reactions to will smith slapping someone versus when alec baldwin killed someone are drastically different well i guess well, yeah i guess I, so yeah like to what, be fair, what, well, here, what, may, hey, 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 am I, am I, am I, am I weird, or are they two different stories? <laughs> yeah, like they're what, what they're reaction, completely different stories. <laughs> what reaction are people hoping for in that regard? Let they should have asked this. Alec Baldwin to leave the Oscars. <laughs> if that happened on live TV, I think that would have been crazier. If Alec Baldwin shot someone and killed someone on live TV, yes, that would have been bigger than the fucking slap. But it didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And like I don't know, we I I'm assuming we've all seen like the video of like Bud Dwyer bringing a gun into a press conference and blowing his brains out. Like that was bad. Yeah, this was tense. That I don't know if it's like comparable. Yeah, you know it's too bad. It's kind of a perfect storm. Like if Will Smith didn't have those seats, it might be a different right. Like he might be like, I'm not going all the way up there. If he was like farther back, <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> real, for real. I gotta say, he's gonna be I doing a different joke. Him. It won't make sense. It'll seem like I'm like standing up for Belfast or something. <laughs> the, uh, I mean, like, let's be real. Of... Next year, Will Smith will not be sitting in the front row. That's for sure. Uh, but you <laughs> know, true. Grant, I, I, know I just you, wanted you, to you say the the video of uh, Peter Griffin running up to the stage and punching the camera was very yeah. apt, and he he might have done that just all the way from the back of the room, all the way up. Uh, you mentioned Bud Dwyer and um, shooting himself on TV. You know, while this event was not lethal, uh, there was a tweet here that posited that it very well could have been. Uh, this was a tweet that was quickly deleted. Uh, it was posted by none, none other than Judd Apatow. Uh, he replied, he quote retweeted somebody talking about the slap, and he said, he could have killed him. That's pure out-of-control rage and violence. They've heard a million jokes about them in the, in the last three decades. They're not freshmen in the world of comedy. He lost his mind. I and I mean, it's cat over this here is like this is as goofy mouse right now. This is as goofy as what I was saying earlier with like the being afraid to laugh take. Like, what if somebody had a collapsed lung? Right. Like Judd Apatow mm -hmm. was doing that, but like unironically. And then he right. deleted the tweet right after because it's obviously right. kind of silly. 
it's a really it's a it's a it's a style of argument where you just make up a thing and then talk about the thing you made up like you know if he had stabbed him if he had stabbed him he would have fucking yeah. died okay so let's think about that or you know like you just kind of launch with a wild ass thesis he could have killed him it's it, it yeah, yeah not it's not, like a red herring <laughs> And I did actually want to read one here. Grant, you posted this in the Discord. Um, this also gets my uh, key to the city this week. Uh, Jim Davis. I don't know Davis. if this is real or not, but... Oh, you know what? That's a good point. Um, but it, it might see. be. So read it anyway. I mean, it's it's still good content. It's probably true. You know what, Grant? I'm, I'm actually not going to... I'm not going to read it because oh. I don't think it's real. You should read it anyway. I want to I hear is what it Jim Davis is, is Jim Davis say. the guy that makes Garfield? Yeah. Yeah. So okay, oh, I'll read sure. it alleg- allegedly, but I won't. I will not be giving him my key to the city on the fact that oh, I still, I, I still need to fact check this before I cannot just be giving these out willy nilly. So this is Garfield creator Jim Davis's response to being asked about the Will Smith slap quote: "I don't really keep up with the Oscars. I mainly <laughs> just make Garfield comic strips." <laughs> 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 if that is true, this that is that is some serious king shit. I uh, don't know if it is. Oh man, it's really funny. I like to think uh, anyway. that he just has that in his back pocket anytime a question comes through that he's not all the way good on. He's like, you know what? I just like to make Garfield strips. The yeah, Middle East. Real, I, uh, I just like to draw Garfield. Yeah. yeah. Look. Look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What, a, what an incredible out of literally any difficult conversation. <laughs> you know what? I'm on like my 4,000th Monday joke. That keeps me pretty busy. Uh, just <laughs> yeah. really doing I, that most of the time. Finding new and innovative ways to tackle the day of the week, Monday, not easy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm not, yeah. <laughs> Friday is kind of like the reverse Monday, if you think about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's done one like that before. Could you imagine he I'm starts sure. doing Friday jokes? That Garfield. Lo- hey, who's that next to you, Grant? Is, a, is that a cat, in a, a cat in a cone there? Yeah, a cat can in a cone. Can we ask her how she feels about Fridays? Uh, Kirby, how do you feel about Fridays? I love them. She Let me have this fucking the cone. Microphone. Oh. She take this fucking thing off of me. <laughs> Well, now, you have one other thing here, uh, Grant, from The Hill. Um, Twitter data oh, indicates most of the insane. country backs Chris Rock after the Oscars. They have, like an, they have an election map, and it's like mm-hmm. blue for Chris mm-hmm. Rock and red for yeah. Will Smith. They're thinking that, yeah, they're thinking some parts of the South might, might swing Will Smith, but right now it's Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Florida's one, still like a little bit iffy. Nate Silver yeah, is going to call it for Chris Rock, I think. For everybody. <laughs> this is so fucking oh, stupid. God. Jesus like, Christ. My brain is so fucking full of drivel. Especially like... You know... Man. You know what yeah. bothers me about this? I, I gather that you guys have a, have a cynical, aired out nature that I appreciate very much. And have you guys caught wind of this? And I hadn't Thank caught you. wind of this until it was uh, shown to me by my wife. And, and that's like what's upsetting to me sometimes where it's like I am online and this did not cross my mind. Maybe I could go on like a better version of online and look at less bullshit. But, but, but did you guys hear the thing about a ton of celebrities crossed a picket line to go to a after party held by Jay-Z? That feels like yeah. a very like like couldn't a bunch of us have gotten together and, and like a bunch of us fucking you know commie socialists on Twitter or whatever couldn't we have like aired out how fucked up that is just a little bit and it just I, we I know we can't control memeing. the larger discourse but like you know right we can't control the larger right. thing but that that's disappointing to me because that shit sucks because that shit's boring it's just like it's just I don't know it's it's uh I guess I guess everyone that went to that party is probably really stoked about that slap. Because there are headlines, they're just not quite catching on. You know what I mean? So, it's yeah, so among it other is people, like the biggest know. fucking thing. And yeah, there is that aspect where it's like, man, I don't want to contribute to this so much, but also you can't not contribute to it, and you're just stuck in this stupid position where, like, I think Justin Wang had a good tweet about it where he was like, "Oh, uh, something like everyone's complaining about people uh, tweeting about like you know the the Will Smith slap or whatever, like." You know, we could change so much if we just started tweeting more about things that mattered. The joke being like, no. 
Like the, right, no, like, yeah. In what gonna, world is in it, what world yeah, is some righteous social cause going to catch on? You know, like this caught on. <laughs> you know. I mean, I, that's not to sort of like denigrate certain like bigger social movements that have happened. You know, as a, as a result of social media, but like. Yeah, well, what the fuck do you do about that? Like, this is the only thing that happened today. I don't know. Mm-hmm. What's going on in Ukraine? I don't. It's nothing that I can do anything about. I don't. I don't know. Right. And it's just. I think. I think maybe if if and I, and I'm there too. It's like you do get overwhelmed with it or whatever. But it's like you know, like if 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 you explain someone that did know about social media, what social media was, and that Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars. They'd be like, oh, so social media must be talking about that a lot. Like, of course, right? It's just kind of like what it's yeah, for. It's a like, what like, like, like just how, how it goes. I, like, yeah, man, we should be talking about minimum wage and, and, and shit like that. But, you know. Well, and it's it's one I mean, of those things, do? too, where, like, if if you have friends that aren't as online as you, it's, it's one of those things where, it, like, in five minutes of this existing, I was tired of it. But then it's like, oh, then you see real people in real life, and they also (laughs) want to talk about it, and they haven't been overly inundated with all of this, like, fucking meme. They have a healthier relationship with the internet. Yeah, there is an aspect to it where it is like, yeah, this is just sort of like a part of normal life, and you talk about it, but I think it's like the cycles of, like, how long some of this stuff gets dragged out and the amount of detail. Is that good, Baxter? (laughs) Yeah, Grant, look behind you. Look behind you. To your other side there. Other way. Is that good? Get down from there. Whatever. That's, that's allowed? Is, okay. <laughs> is she okay up there? Shit. Yeah, she's fine. So Kirby has a cone on her head, and she's she's uh, prat walking on top of the the thin screened L, uh, HDTV. Oh, there's yeah. Oh, happens. my God, it jumped off. <laughs> yeah, she, no, she's it, okay. It's, I think. it's not heavy enough to tilt it over. I didn't. I didn't know what was going to. I mean, your your calmness definitely, you know, you know, said a lot. I've, but I was I've still, seen wait, a lot wait, with these eyes. You know, I, I <laughs> I've seen a lot with these eyes. Oh my god! I could tell. I wish I could all, like go all the way in the back of my head, but I can't do that. This is a <laughs> sight. If you guys aren't watching this on YouTube, I don't. You're, you're missing so much. I hope we you, get you this just video up the, on YouTube. Yeah, talk about the slap too. <laughs> Will Kirby fall off the TV or not? Now, are you worried at this point? He's behind the TV. Are you worried? I, I know he's normally okay. Kirby is a he. Uh, the, she, the cone is an extra right. dimension. Yes. Are you worried she might bonk the TV at this point? Oh yeah, point? she's been no, falling she's... off of all sorts of things, but it's it's to uh, it's to keep her from licking stitches. So gotcha. So long yeah, as I that's have that problem. Yeah. Was she fixed lately, or was it a was it something different? Yeah, like cool. a couple days ago. Ah, uh, okay, okay. All right, let's let's wrap up the slap crap. No, uh, I want to oh, talk how... about Will Smith more. What what else is what you want to talk good? about the ethics the ethics of uh, Will Smith dude that's that's the thing that like these people that had this like grandiose like moralist take on this of like actually more comedians should be punched and then people that are like uh, it's okay to hit someone over a joke or the people that are like uh, what at, like oh you don't hit people and it's just like man. I, Oh yeah, yeah wasn't that Kathy Griffin every, who who like tweeted it, it out? Was where everybody. It was like, this everybody. Everybody was doing. Well, no, everything. hers was like it, this is like a this is like the begin. This could be the beginning of like violence against comedians. Oh, it's like it's open season now. Comedians right, right. right. Cars, it's fucking yeah. Looney Tunes cartoon. Telling yeah. offensive jokes. Oh, I cannot wait to hear what he says about this. I don't know. Who, it, it's just one of those things. I think uh, Daniel Radcliffe had a good take where he said, yeah. "I'm very bored of this." And I like, I, if the like, yeah, yeah, you can. He was like, I don't want to chuck it, one more opinion into the pile, essentially, which I, I like. That. Yeah, you can, you, you can know. have opinions. You can say like, oh, I don't think you should like lay your hands on people at all, or you can say, hey, sometimes whatever, or sometimes what, like, you can have these thoughts and you can sort of like have ideas and stuff like that. But these like weird statements of like, if you don't think that he was right to. Like he should have stabbed him is what should, it's just like man I I don't know like why are we talking about that like it doesn't yeah. matter it happened. that's what I'm saying let's move I, on I don't know yeah let's talk about uh, Disney's Sex Mountain well let's know before I've we been do, there good times yeah. good times I would let, rather run with friends than family but it was cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah kind of an awkward <laughs> ride 
Uh, I didn't buy the picture on the way out. (laughs) Oh yeah, the we we got a snapshot of the whole the whole family up there in the log. I don't. I just assume keep going. Um, So yeah, no, sorry. (laughs) No, I I just want to say, like uh, Will Smith. Let's let's grant. Let's give the definitive takedown here. Uh, All eyes on us, I suppose. Um, I I don't know. It'd be kind of funny if, like, okay, Donald Trump gets his Twitter back, and then he. He tweets, "Will Smith, you're fired." Hmm. Uh, if he, he was on Twitter, on, who's then he leaves again. Wh- whose side do you think he would have taken if he was on Twitter? You think he would have gone after ooh. Will? That's that's <laughs> a good question. Um, you know what? I actually I hate to say, but I kind of want to know. I'm a little sad so that we I, don't get Trump on Twitter now that he's not president. When he was just back to like Howard right, Stern right. talking about fucking how right, like Kristen right. Stewart's an asshole or whatever. <laughs> so, like, yeah, di- Diet Coke. You never see a thin person drinking that. <laughs> Donald Trump like does have like uh, a weird machoistic sort of like mentality when it comes to especially like relationships and everything like that. Like yeah. the the Robert Pattinson. Kristen Stewart thing always comes to mind because he does it's very telling. He will say yeah. like, "Oh, you know," I I feel like he would say something along the lines of like, "Oh, look at this uh, man doing this all over a woman." Sort of, like he would have some sort of take that was like more rooted in the relationship than he would the actual slap. Yeah, like, and then he would end oh, by saying yeah. like, "Of course the slap would have like it would be something like that like." You have but to it would be because some kind of wishy-washy logic. thing where he's like, "Yeah, of course, a, ma- a man has to like stand up for his wife." But I'm not saying it's right to hit somebody. But I say I think a man <laughs> should stand up for her wife. But it's not right to obvi- obviously not right to hit somebody. Obviously, <laughs> right, right. But you have to know your role. You have to stand up. But, but also, it's also look, not right. To- look at weak will that he can't <laughs> yeah. even control his emotions. <laughs> exactly. You know? Yeah. Like it'd be some- well. That's that's like, only if like Will Smith insult- like says something about him. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, just whoever sucks up to him more. Chris Rock right. has some very not nice things to say about me. Right, but the, whoever had turned down the Celebrity Apprentice or something. I love for like four years we were just like, please stop, stop. I don't want to hear you. And now we're like, honestly, what would this philosopher, what would his take on this be? <laughs> but yeah. I maintain like he's not president. He's just some guy, you know. He's- yeah, that's I fine. I, I, if, as just yeah. some guy, okay. You <laughs> yeah. know, I want to hear what he has to say. I don't want him yeah. to like, you know, distribute the vaccines and figure out what the hell's going to happen. You know, but as some fucking guy, I want to yeah. know what he thought about this, like, you know, this is, event. Yeah, this is within his wheelhouse. Do you do you exactly. think Trump would come back on Twitter? Do you think he'd come back on Twitter if they didn't let him have the check mark and he just had to grab some? Uh, he had to grab a handle right now that wasn't taken, so he just had to be like Trump three 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 or something. You know, like. <laughs> I, I I think but that's the he offer. Would, um, <laughs> he w- I, I think at this point he would only come back if they gave him like a golden check mark. Did you guys yeah. see like his most recent press release where he uh, he said that he was playing professional golf? He was he was playing golf with like three either professional or former professional golfers and that he won. He's like I won't oh, I won't awesome. brag and say that I won, <laughs> but people that there know people that were there know what happened, and it's like it's incredible. That's that's the thing. Like Trump is still tweeting, but they're coming to they're only like coming to us as like pictures of like, these like you have to formal there, letters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's all it's all written in the same prose as his tweets. <laughs> yeah, with no character uh, speaking of, uh, Exactly. Yeah, he's completely unbound. Uh, if anything, if anything, I, I, if anything, I almost prefer this. But speaking of Twitch pros, uh, there is a tweet here that was uh, making the rounds this week about Twitch viewers. Uh, this comes from Rob Logan. I uh, don't know who this is. Uh, looks like it's just some guy who happened to get a tweet that went viral. Uh, but it says here, Twitch viewers dot dot dot. A word of advice. And he has a screenshot here of a notes app or something where he writes out, please stop dropping your insanely depressing news into chat. Streams are not your place to vent heavy news. You're selfishly taking someone else's space and forcing them to make it yours. I just watched someone drop something really heavy during a starting soon scene and the streamer canceled the stream. They didn't specify that this was the reason, but as a streamer myself, it's hard not to recognize these things. 
It can be so hard for someone to hit that going live button and even harder to get the momentum of the stream going and even harder still to keep everyone upbeat and engaged. The streamer might not e the streamer might even be struggling themselves and going live is their way to keep their mind off their own troubles for a while. So please respect a streamer space and seek help elsewhere. Now, I'm not going to go and say that this guy is completely wrong. But also, who is this guy? Right. <laughs> like, I, I actually, I, I did, I thought he was like a much bigger presence on, like, I thought this was like, like a, like a doctor disrespect or like somebody I don't know. And I'm like, sure, I guess people know who this right, is. Right. I'm happy to not know who this is, but apparently people do. I don't also think that this guy. That this is like a notes app, sort of like. You had all of this to say, like, <laughs> really, you had all these words that you wanted to write? Yeah. It's a little much. And, I mean, I know there is, like, the, like, I, I linked to it here, but we don't have to watch it. But there was, like, a, a video of, um, I think it was, like, a, a, yeah, a GDQ event where this guy was doing a speed run of Ocarina of Time. And he was in full, like, Link <gasps> cosplay. Oh. <laughs> and everything and he he was he was in this room like trying to concentrate really really hard on like speed running the game like in front of everybody finally for the first time and then this woman right. like in the crowd like starts like gets up and starts telling this story about like like her dad has cancer or something like that or she does i i forget exactly she, but it was like something it's like, yeah, it's heavy it was very heavy and very personal not the time and place Exact. That was exactly what you would hear. Like as she was, like, as she was like, oh. she was holding back tears and like being like drowned out by the sound of Link rolling. Am I? Am, I might be combining two videos in my head. Does he like ask them to stop talking, or is that some different video? That's, that's or... another one. That's that's another. Yeah, one okay. The guy's playing like the guy's like doing like jumping jacks and push ups and stuff, and he's like, I would really appreciate it if you stop talking. <laughs> That's a different. And then guy, just though, like right? that that's, silence just hits that's everyone. That's a different. Oh. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> this is a so very funny. a very similarly toned okay. one, but it's like you know this guy is yeah, like he's there I'd... for a reason. You know, it, it's it is inappropriate in a way, but it's also like it does feel weird to be like, listen, I, I am a Twitch streamer, and I do not want to hear your personal drivel. I don't give a shit about your your stepdad's in the hospital, your dog is sick. I don't give a, f you know, I'm trying to play a video game. <laughs> yeah. Truly the gamers are, you know, they will inherit the earth. <laughs> You're also asking people like if if uh apparently this person, you know, they 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 shared something that this person would have you believe was like not appropriate too much at the time. And it's like, like you're not gonna fix that because someone read your fucking tweet. Like that's someone not understanding like social things, or right, you know what I mean? Right. Like why that's inappropriate. No one's gonna be like, well, my dad died 30 minutes ago. Wait a minute, I read a tweet yesterday. I'm not gonna say that. Like that's, that's not. Like, that's just like it's I, fantasy, I just, right? Yeah, I feel like <laughs> the internet really has ruined so many people's brains, and I always do try and like either through this podcast or through Twitter, or, like if I make like a fucking TikTok video, I always try and like just keep it based in some level of reality where like. I'm still existing in this real, like in the reality that we all inhabit, and you bring that to what you're creating, as opposed to you get so inundated with like these platforms and like the like the way that you interact with something on there, as opposed to thinking like, hey, this is like what would be a normal weird reaction in normal life, like. There's been times where it's like you're just at like a Starbucks or whatever and like some stranger walks in off the street and then just starts like talking to you about like their shit or whatever and you're just like, okay, I, I'm sort of in a hurry. Thank you. And you walk off and it's fine and it's normal. It's like that's just all that happened and you can just in the stream just be like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, right, right. Now, it's like an entire stream seems play, excessive. Like you can just you can just address <laughs> yeah, it, you yeah. know. You can just be a normal person, or you can not be. A, mm. You could just ignore it, or you can just ignore it. You can just pretend yeah. it doesn't exist. Maybe this is insensitive, but is this is this like a co comedian getting heckled? And like you know what, we're done here and just leaving. Like <laughs> you just kind of like I yeah, man. You know. open up a I thing. Mean, like, There's a communication thing that happens. It sucks. It's not great. It's not great. I'm not supporting it, but I don't know. Right. 
Yeah, I think like and I for most of the quote tweets I'm seeing here and a lot of the replies, it's a lot of other people who are saying like uh I don't particularly feel this way. Um you know, you, you can come to my stream and say this any day. I actually see a quote a quote tweet here from our friend Anime Serbia who hosts Kimono Friend Zone who says it's actually very easy to handle this situation. Just hit them with the with the old damn that sucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything and along like, those again, lines. You can just be like a person in this scenario. Like you can just realize that like, hey, if someone's like doing this on a Twitch stream, they're probably not well. Right. And you can just like is not it, bitch at them over it. You know. <laughs> yeah. Is it possible that there's Twitch streamers who are like, hey, man, if you're having a hard time. Let me hear it. That's cool. <laughs> you know, isn't like, that what yeah. that therapy gecko guy is? Isn't that what he does? Therapy. Anybody gecko? know what I'm talking? He's like a guy in a green costume that he's immensely popular. Uh, you he, might he have wants scrolled that past him. Yeah, like uh, he's just a guy in a green costume that just takes calls from people and does therapy, but in a gecko, you know, Grant, gecko if that costume. doesn't say enough about the American healthcare system, well, I don't know what does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, hey, I don't have insurance, uh, can't see a therapist, but I do talk to a guy uh, dressed as a gecko in front of thousands of other people. Right. He's like very popular. I'm sort of surprised how popular. I mean, no, good, he is. good for him to be doing that. It just all like the time, yeah. It's a good thing he's doing, but it sucks that that's like probably a lot of people have to be no like other a outlet or something like that. I I really haven't watched it. I've watched like part of one video and I got so bored by it that I stopped. I don't know if it's supposed to be funny or like he's wearing a dumb costume. I don't know if that's. I I don't know. Write to us in the comments. You're on a stream. Uh, a dumb costume is only going to carry you so far on a stream. You know, like. Yeah. You wear a funny costume for a picture or something. You're not just gonna get a laugh for two hours on a on a costume. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's it's uh, man. I mean, you got you got to switch it up. You know. It's interesting um, to think about anyway. therapy like pl playing out on Twitch, like you said, and thousands of people. Could you imagine that? Just like, hey, exactly. man. Exactly. I yeah, saw your like, breakthrough. That was great. <laughs> Good yeah. for you. <laughs> like that's the thing too. It's like you know, for these people who are you know airing their dirty laundry or personal whatever in a Twitch chat, it's like, you know, you do have to understand that, like, other people can see this. Right. True. True, true, true. And maybe There's maybe consider like being a super follower. There's definitely, aspect of that that needs to be addressed, but, like, the idea that this guy is like, oh, I'm going to make a state. It's a, like, who are you speaking to? You're speaking to people that either already agree with you or disagree with you, and it's not really going to matter, but it's like you're not mm -hmm. reaching the people that need to hear it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, actually, uh, anyway, oh, I shouldn't I would say, have said my dad died in that Twitch. <laughs> like, again, Oops, I, I, I like, think I, I, I have a punishment here. <laughs> um, uh, Medicare for all, not just okay. because, not just because everybody should have insurance and access to therapy, but because when my belt, when my man Bernie goes live, I better not see you in his chat venting. He you know, have good responses. Right. He wouldn't make some bitchy he, he notepad. Does, tweet <laughs> like he's like mods can we can we can we ban this guy mods mods <laughs> anyway, what do i pay you generously for <laughs> exactly and he's he's wearing his expensive jacket too uh no we're, we're let's move on to the one last story here uh, as we alluded to uh disney's sex mountain Anyway, uh, that's it. Disney's Sex Mountain. This is from Fox News. The uh, the lower third section of the screen says, Disney wants five-year-olds to learn about sexual orientation. Uh, I'm guessing this has to do with, like, the uh, the Don't Say Gay bill. Um, yeah, there's apparently a lot they're of turning, discourse they're, that's happening. They're turning that into a roller coaster ride, apparently. Mm. Because hey, politics is a roller coaster ride. So I guess they're making yeah, sex in her words, uh, sex mountain. This is what Laura Ingram, I think, Laura is the, Ingram, yeah, Lauren Ingram mm -hmm. uh, from uh, Fox News. Yeah, Laura Ingram from the uh, Comedy Cellar. You can see her set Wednesdays at eight p.m. Uh, she should honestly do. I would kill to see her do stand up. I think would be tremendous. I think I mean, Ann Coulter did that roast one time, and it went so poorly oh, God. that chances of things like that, sadly, I think were probably affected. Uh, there, there should Damn. be more because, like, mm -hmm. the the thing is, 
these people think that they're smarter than you. And that's fine. They can think that. But they also think that they're funnier than you. And when they don't, like, when, when they're sort of like, ah, oh, you talk to a camera, you say shit like that, it's like you don't get the feedback. But when you get a room full of silence, like, it hurts your feelings. And I mean, Coulter will be, not be, be doing stand up again because she got her feelings hurt. And I think more people should be forced to do that. I TBH. agree. You don't need to slap I mean, them, is... just stare at them and don't laugh at their shit. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that honestly that like it's it's a lot meaner to do that than to walk up and slap somebody. If you yeah, really I mean, want to hurt someone, <clears throat> sit in the front row at a comedy show and have your arms crossed the whole time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that front row can be tough too cuz like there's like there's you know, there's 50 people in the room and I can see 5 of them. So each one represents a lot of the room to me in in a dumb way that's not accurate yes. at all, but still Look at these, you know, if two of them aren't feeling it, you're like, well, well, this is a done deal here tonight. What are we doing? <laughs> I think I think the next the next time the next time this happens at like a comedy show or something, if, if someone's afraid that like, the guy's going to do crowd work on them, just go up and slap them. Slap them before they get the chance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and this guy over here, he looks like he rolled out of the fucking, well, you wake up on the wrong side of the bed today, buddy. And you just like before they even get a chance yeah. to say that, just walk up on stage. Boom. You know, I hadn't Just thought about safe. that, but, you know, we were talking, some people frame their laughter as being brave, and certainly there's a lot of weird framing of, like, comedy itself as being this bastion of, like, philosophy and brave free speech and all that, but it's like, yeah. well, maybe there's a new gauntlet. Are you doing crowd work now? That that might be a little more impressive. Are you going in? Are you going in on people? True. <laughs> you going in on people sitting yeah, Will Smith close you, to you, you know? Are you making fun of their girlfriends then, right in front of them? That's kind of, I don't know. Then the only comedians that are successful now are the Joe Rogan types who don't have yeah, like it's not very great. good stand up, but he will Definitely. like wrestle you to the ground and do an arm bar. Yeah. So you know, we can't yeah. have that now, either. Right. Now that I'm thinking about it, I was at an open mic once where a comedian was making fun of some guy's wife. It was very strange. Like it was very fucked up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the guy well, it was when he stepped out of the room to go get a drink at the bar and this guy was like making fun of his wife and like saying that he could see like her, i guess like he's like well i can see up your dress the whole time and like he's like i can see what color your underwear is and stuff like that it was very weird and then like after the show the guy's like looking for this guy to like beat the shit out of him you know mm. so wife material it's, uh the the true braver than braver than the troops basically if you're gonna if you're gonna bring out the <laughs> wife so it's not the as wife though material. there aren't like understandable scenarios in which you would want to hit someone in the face but also like and that was one of those perhaps you know if you're a millionaire you can do it and get away with it i would heavily suggest that if you were not a millionaire not to do it uh lawsuits are a big thing Really sorry to yeah, circle back to the slap, but do you think do you think yeah. he would have went up and slapped him if it was like a less COVID intimate vibe style, like the the old Oscars, where it's just like <laughs> even though I was joking about his, even you if he was what? sitting that uh-huh. close, do you do you think it was I just that like that, that really like we've had like all these intimate vibes on TV shows for the last two years, you know? I was actually fucking walk up and slap him. <laughs> Mark, that's that's a take that I would have laughed at if I saw on Twitter where it was somebody who like they see they see Will Smith go up and like slap. Uh, Chris Rock and somebody goes. So I guess COVID isn't a thing anymore. No more six feet. <laughs> yeah, right. He's right. Come on. He What's got right up in his What's face and point? hit him. Uh, so I guess right. there's no Why virus. We have okay. Every- Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I read some heartbreaking Sick. report about cast members of West Side Story not being invited to the Oscars because apparently we're doing social distancing. But I see when the jokes go sour, we're getting as close as we want. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Like I, I would, I would have paid more like for five fingers. <laughs> That's a whiskey. Anyway, uh, Disney's, Disney's, sex, Disney's mountain. sex mountain, mountain uh, punishment. They make the ride. They make the <laughs> ride, and you got you go on it with your family, and it's super uncomfortable. And uh, yeah, mm-hmm. well, it's sex it's mountain. Weird. It's weird because I guess the the weird conservative outrage is like uh, I guess that like Ben Shapiro is now doing like children's content specifically for children. I saw children. that he's gonna Be- fund yeah, a thing to make anti woke children's stuff. Right, because they're like uh, Disney's turning kids gay, and it's like wasn't the yeah. story that Disney was like funding a conservative bill that was anti like. 
What like what's yep, even they the do thr- it all. what's even the through line? Busy. Yeah, they do it all. They'll they'll turn you gay and then punish you for being gay. Truly Capitalism, Orwellian. Hmm. I also think that like if they do make this ride, you know how they made a, a movie out of Pirates of the Caribbean, they made a movie <laughs> out of Haunted Mansion. I want to see like yeah. the Sex Mansion movie, like streaming on Disney Plus and in theaters March second. <laughs> It's got like Channing Tatum and uh, <laughs> how do you how do you all keep all, that all the family hunks. friendly? What was that? How do you keep that family friendly? I'd like to see him try. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but let's move on to our key to the city. Something nice, something swell, a nice chaser. After all the slapping, uh, I want to give out my key to the city here because I was going to give it to Jim Davis, and I don't know that I feel comfortable doing that without knowing that that was. Uh, a real quote of his. Uh, Grant, you mentioned earlier the Bud Dwyer clip. What, you're going to give key to the city to Bud Dwyer? <laughs> no, oh but God. I'm going to give it to a hey Twitter man, account. nice shot. I'm <laughs> going to give it to a Twitter account that actually had that same exact joke on it with that picture. Uh, recently, uh, Amer- uh, crazy-ass moments in American politics. Uh, it's ampole underscore moment on Twitter. Uh, this account popped up recently um and it's just someone is posting basically all these insane things that have happened in american politics and it's right crazy because it's easy to forget like even like uh they have the, their pin tweet here is uh ruth bader ginsburg's fitness trainer doing push-ups during her funeral remember that yeah <laughs> uh that was only a couple years ago that was beautiful. Um, Those were the best push-ups yeah, a picture I've of, ever uh, seen. <laughs> President Trump meets the pen pineapple apple pen guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and like you said, the, the Bud Dwyer uh, shot. Uh, a lot of, there's a lot of good stuff on here. It's a great account. <laughs> I didn't know that he met the pen pineapple pineapple pen. I didn't either. I don't know why it happened. I didn't know what the pen, pineapple, pen, apple guy looked like until just now. And he looks uh, exactly like you would expect him to look, I suppose. Oh, my God. Hey, he should run for president. Am I right? You know what? These days, Grant, I wouldn't doubt it. Anyway, that's my key to the city. Uh, Mark, did you have something nice you'd like to share with the class? Yeah, I threw it in that uh, document, and it wasn't so much. I can't, I can't speak to the account at large. It might be a great account. It might not be, but I, I did see a, a little tweet, and, you know, I was just think it's just like a dumb little thing, but, uh, you know, we look at so much stuff all the time, and it was one that just stuck with me. I was thinking about it for days. You know what yeah. I mean? So that was what I thought of, and so it's just a little, I think it's like 30 seconds, and just a little handful of uh, outtakes of, of a handful of actors trying to rehearse a scene from The Godfather, and I love all that stuff, Sopranos and Godfather and Goodfellas and all that stuff, and it's just so awesome to see The Godfather especially probably has the, maybe like the least humor of all those things I just said. Like Sopranos is like very funny and weird in a way. Godfather oh, plays sure, it pretty yeah. straight, you know what I mean? So to see people cracking you know what? up and they like, didn't say oh, fuck this once. guy, fuck this guy, you fucking, yeah, 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 you know? And so just seeing them like break and, and be like, oh, you fucking asshole, that was your fault or whatever they say or something is just like the most delightful shit in the world to me. <laughs> I would watch this for like an hour. Should we play this real quick? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's watch it here real quick. All right. Yeah, uh, cut out here, Zwick or me or whoever the fuck. Edit point. Cut this out. Um, I got it pulled up here. Uh, yep, Grant, it's, it's on the dock. You got it. Uh, Mark, yep. you got it. I can get there real quick. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yes, yes, yes. All right, uh, yeah. we'll do a three, two, one, play. So three, two, one, play. That's a great line. <laughs> <laughs> just like the driest delivery followed by that that's awesome yeah i would love to see more of these i hope i hope more Dude, fuck it. 
they're laughing like little kids by the end. I just, yeah, I don't know. It's yeah, fun. yeah. For such a serious movie, it's nice to know they had some fun on set. Mm-hmm. And when I saw that too, maybe the, I couldn't help but think because like I, I was looking at, I was watching stuff on Paramount Plus recently, and I think I think that was the thing it was on, and I just kept seeing ads for whatever stupid show, and I, I I'm not gonna watch it. Maybe it's great, but like the thing about how they made the Godfather the movie that's like a series now, and it's just one of those things like I love the Godfather, and I don't who cares, right? Wait, and is just it like, like a this documentary sec- or is it like a reenactment? no? It's like there's like a, it's like a story about the producers and stuff being like there should be a oh, movie called The Godfather. Yeah. <laughs> uh, kind of like how they're making that's, all these shows about bands and and groups and yeah, you know, like that's just okay. Like, I was gonna, I that's, like that's these, like, I, you know, yeah. That's like but, if they um, made a show about Heart of Darkness. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't mean. But with that, I think I think I was getting sick of that commercial. Then I saw this commercial, like this clip. This is better than that whole show. <laughs> you know, like yeah. this is what I want. As a fan of The Godfather, this is what I want. Not a show about how why they fucking made. You know, don't don't adapt a DVD behind the scenes feature into a thing for me i'm good you know, oh for but. sure <laughs> and then, you know i you know i want to say really quick though i feel like those are more of a thing now because dvd bonus features don't exist anymore everything's like put on streaming yeah, services we kind of we kind of lost so we don't, those didn't we exactly yeah we don't get the behind the scenes stuff so now we're being like oh it's a tv show it's a whole separate thing we got all this bonus stuff and it's like this was yeah. funnier like you know it, the bone the the bloopers at the end of the pixar movie you know yeah yeah, yeah, I preferred yeah. it that way. Yeah. Uh, Grant, what's your key to the city? Uh, my key to the city goes to uh, people that sell things on Etsy. Uh, apparently, they're doing a uh, boycott slash strike from April 11th to April 18th. Uh, Etsy's been making uh, pretty good profits, apparently, and now they're slapping their sellers with a 30% fee increase, which is Ooh. fucking insane to be making hand over fist worth of money and then to be like, yeah. oh, but we need more money on to, uh, the money that we're making. We're doing good in terms of the money we're making, but we need more money from the people that are selling, making the stuff that we're selling on our site. So, like, yeah, I guess if you're uh, if you're buying uh, trinkets and uh, doodads on Etsy, <laughs> uh, don't on that week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Things of that yeah. nature. So, cool. key to the city goes to Etsy sellers. I hope they uh, Shit, get what they man. want. So, do you think a lot of people raise, a, raise the price to offset that, or they're just like... Taking less, either, taking less either way, home. you're getting fucked. It sounds like they're yeah, going to try to boycott right. first, and after that, it's like, eh, sorry, you know, got to raise prices. You know, nobody. Yeah, wants and that. then if you if you raise prices, then people look at your prices and they go, I don't know if I want to spend so much money on this. You yeah, know? yeah. So it's like, mm-hmm. it sucks all around. Uh, but before we do get to our last segment of the show, which is our listener voicemails. Uh, Mark, if you want to plug everything you got, um, where we can find your social media, uh, and also any, any, I guess you could plug hard drive. Yeah. No, it's at can. this point we were talking about it before bizarre is like, if you just want to check out hard drive, that's great. Cause that shits my job. And it's been, it was, it was a passion project for a long time. So I would have told you, please check out hard drive, but I really need you to check out hard drive now. <laughs> I've a, we got some hits on there. Com- yeah. I have an experimental comedy job writing on it. Uh, if you want to click, uh, just click and refresh and click and click and click and follow. No. Um, yeah. Hard drive. Read hard drive the articles. Yes. On Twitter. Read, yeah, the, read articles. the articles. We work hard on them. There's more jokes in there. <laughs> it's not just uh, and then, yeah, folks. just That's right. That's right. Um, so, yeah, just hard hard drive across stuff. I can be found. Like, find me on Twitter, Mark underscore Roebuck, R-O-E-B-U-C-K. And, yeah, we were talking about before, too, but Jeremy, uh, who's been on the show, Jeremy Kaplowitz, editor-in-chief of Hard Drive, we did a podcast for a long time. Uh, not a long time, but uh, for a little while there. Um uh, called various things but by the end you can find it now called the hard drive podcast it started as a super mario brothers super show rewatch show and when we got through stuff we just sort of spent six more months doing a show losing our minds but that's on like spotify and 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 apple and all all the stuff too uh so yeah yeah i think that's what i got thank you cool yeah yeah for sure we'll uh we'll include links to everything in the episode description so you can scroll down awesome. there and find it um cool. Now, uh, for those who left us a voicemail, uh, we're going to listen to those. And if you want to give us a call, our phone number is 312-788-7361. Or you can always send us an audio file to thoughtcopspodcast at gmail.com. Let's hit it. Hey, this is uh, Brady. Big fan. I'm just listening to your stuff. Hello. Listening to it. 
in reverse order, starting with the latest and going back in time, which has been uh, Sounds really like interesting. A bad okay. Idea. But who gives interesting a shit approach. about that? Um, uh, well, I guess my not two you. minutes of hate this week <laughs> goes to uh, matchmaking services in online games. Uh, I just, uh, you know, I think it's terrible meeting up with random people. Uh, although online's gotten a lot better with, like, uh, you know, most people, like, cling to their, like, private chats on the consoles and PCs with Discord and Skype and all that. Discord but, servers, like, yeah. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm nostalgic for the old days of like community servers where you can like get to know people and foster like a relationship or foster just a community in general. And you're generally not playing with shit lords. Also, there's the fun of the drama that happens on these community servers, which I don't really get involved with, but like I think it's, it's just kind of fun to, uh, to see it have a chuckle i don't know uh you love to see it just uh that's just, <laughs> you love to you see know, it i just kind of miss those old days it's just kind of gone it's been gone for a while now but you know just something i've been thinking about anyways keep it up bros thank you uh cheer up fella it'll be it'll be okay <laughs> yeah thank you for your call uh always happy to hear from some new people um, glad you enjoy the show as well. I, I'm not I'm not a big online gamer myself. I feel like most of the games I play are usually single player, but if they are multiplayer, I'm often too intimidated to uh, play on the internet. I'm afraid but, that someone's gonna like shoot me and then call my mom gay or something like that. Always like that was always the that's big probably thing with, like, online gaming that I was like I don't want I don't want to go through that. That's probably why what he's talking about doesn't exist in the same form anymore because yeah. of how toxic the right. voice chats and everything could be. Like, yeah, you harbor a community, but also, like, it's a terrible place. <laughs> Are these the kind of people you want to be associating with? You got you to really ask yourself that, you know? Uh, Mark, are you much of an online gamer? No, I kind of fall under what you said. I just always, like, if I... I, I, I feel like a lot of games I play don't necessarily... Fo focus on online and if they do i'm just so well aware of the fact that i'm like not, i'm not gonna be able to hang because i kind of bop around and play a lot of different stuff all the time i think you know yeah so it's same, not that same. appealing if i kept in touch with friends via co-op gaming online that might be a thing but i'm not really you know i don't really do that either so yeah i just it's it's fine i was playing rocket league quite a bit and that's obviously better with friends but i didn't really have you know i was just kind of playing with strangers and it's just like I just got so frustrated. I was like, why is so much of my gaming tied up in whether or not I get paired up with people that are helpful or toxic or not? Or, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right, being at yeah. the mercy of that as part of my whatever couple hours at the end of the night to chill out or something. I sort of like, I don't want it. I don't want fuckers to get in here and ruin that. You know what I mean? It's sort of my mentality. But, yeah, that's at, sad. at some point, it, yeah, it's yeah. almost like, yeah, you kind of want to opt out for the CPU. They don't <laughs> right. call me slurs. That's pretty cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, certain Although, things like you know, when when battle royals hit, I liked Warzone and Fortnite, and there's definitely something to be said about these innovative genres that are like dependent on it. I think that's cool, but certainly mm -hmm. not my like go-to stuff at all for those reasons. Yeah. And like he says, it sounds like it's more of like an insular thing now too, where there's like he said Skype servers, Discord servers, and stuff like that, where you can meet people there, but you're not meeting them in the same organic way, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and that, that sort of, like, speaks to the modern, like, kind of the modern, um, d kind of, like, internet in a way. Because I, I feel like it used to be a lot easier to, like, get, you know, when the algorithms were not, you know, so catered to, like, who pays the most money. Your stuff would get out there more organically and you would meet people and, you know, interact and maybe network even w that way. Whereas now it's I feel like right. it's getting harder and harder to do that the more commodify the internet becomes and i feel like what you're describing may may or may not be um indicative of that but anyway i hope you feel better you sounded pretty down i get what he means though like in terms of like when you lose a certain aspect of the thing that you like and it's just like nothing has really replaced it and i read like mm -hmm. a, a comment on i don't i don't know what the fuck i was reading but a comment uh underneath like an article or something said something along the lines of like yeah there's all these people that think that um 
you know, oh, if it's on the internet, it's there forever. But it's like there's so much shit that like you can't access anymore and you can't recreate mm-hmm. stuff and so many different like forums and websites and like things of that nature that have gone down it's like you really can't like get that back and if if there's no like new form of that or anything like that it's just sort of like i guess i can't do that anymore because it doesn't exist so that sucks this kind of might be a full circle thing but we were talking about the onion and i don't know the ins and outs of it but something with their handlers and whatever whatever a lot of the pictures on old articles aren't there anymore so that's like a thing you know I think that got fixed. I could be wrong. Did they get fixed? I, okay. Oh, okay. I know what it went but down. But it spoke it to what you said, though. Bummer. Like, f- Yeah, like you look up your favorite piece of comedy, this formative thing. Like, oh, it's not the same because the picture used to really help that right. joke or something. And that's exactly. like... Exactly. Yeah. yeah, imagine sp- if... It speaks you, to how it can like, be. Yeah. The Earthbound guy goes disappeared. You know, that would suck. Oh, heaven that, forbid. I mean, it's that, still a punchy joke, not- but I didn't write that <laughs> joke. I need my face in there. It, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the headline always like hits the hardest. I mean, like I I just saw one got reposted recently. It was like the like a aging anime fan only can ha- like go t- go for like a Naruto walk now, and that's <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, a picture yeah. of me. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. And nice. I, I I you know, and it's nice to be encapsulated in that you know piece of internet history. So hopefully, um, like I, I think I saw because like one of the one of the writers I used to work for. Um, at the Onion, I think he was kind of talking about there was like some ins and outs where like yeah, it did get pulled, and then like they put it back up. But uh, hopefully, it's, it's really good out. if that stuff's back up, yeah, because that was sad. Yeah, for real. That would be that would be cool. Uh, anyway, if you guys have anything you want to get off your chest, we're here for you always. Uh, give us a call. Our number again is three one two seven eight eight seventy three sixty one. That's three one two seven eight eight seventy three sixty one. Or you can always send us an audio file to thoughtcopspodcast at gmail.com. And if you want to support the show, you can head on over to patreon.com to get a whole lot of backlog of bonus content. And you can be a part of the episode in our live recording chats. Uh, So again, that is patreon.com slash thoughtcops. We're putting up another bonus episode of Fire Bros this week. Uh, If you're hearing this now, it's probably already up. So you can find out what we think about various things and have a lot of fun talking about that. And I want to give a shout out to, well, we don't have any new patrons this week, but I do want to give a shout out to uh, one of our older patrons again. Uh, this is a patron since February 2018, every single uh, every single month. It is Nico. Thank you, Nico. We, we would love My to hear from you. Nico. We haven't, we haven't received a joke. voicemail from uh, our, our dear friend Nico in some time. Um, I, I hear that you got a better phone. So maybe that's a good way to test it out. Give us a call. Use it. Anyway, that's patreon.com slash thought cops. And that about wraps up the episode. Mark, thank you so much for coming on and being hey. so patient with us as we work through <laughs> um, hey. various technical no evolutions. We'll call them evolutions. I mentioned, not I mentioned, uh, <laughs> I mentioned our podcast before too. And I, uh, I would love to sit here and tell you fine gentlemen that I've never subjected people to technical difficulties before we could start a, a show with them. Not the case. However, no problems yes. whatsoever. I appreciate it There's very much. Thanks for having me on. Some. This is awesome. Just, you want, you want the good problems, not the bad problems, you know, of course, of course. And that's what happens once now. like, Oh yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. It was so fun. And then it's just, yeah, that thing happens where it's like, I told you like our podcast, like once it becomes like we're, in different parts of the thing and we're in broad we're twitch streaming and there's audio and yeah just right problems inevitable but thanks guys yeah it was my it was my yeah. pleasure thank you very much well yeah happy to have you man i'm glad we could work it out and uh thank you to all of you who have listened and all of you who donate uh means a whole hell of a lot and helps us out a lot um we'll see you next time see you space cop <laughs>